Hey, it's RJ from uh, Lofty Ponds again, and uh, this is kind of a quick video I wanted to get out really quick. Uh, so I'm out here working on putting in window screens. Now, it's kind of a pain uh, in many ways, <laughs> but, uh, oh, hello. Uh, so if you go to like Home Depot or Lowe's or anything like that, you get, uh, and you get a, a screen kit. Uh, a lot of times those screen kits will tell you to just, uh, measure off of the old screen. Well, that's a bit of a problem if you don't have the old screen. So we, uh, <coughs> kind of, uh, left in the dark on that one. So, <coughs> excuse me. So one of the things you got to do, and I wanted to make this video real quick, uh, just to kind of explain how to make that work. So, uh, this is the window I'm measuring here. Yes, those are cats in the window. Those are our new cats that we got. But anyway, so you want to measure from here to here, and then from here up to just above this sill up here. Because that's what's going to hold the thing in place. So, you see, see it kind of laps up underneath there. So, what you're going to do is you're going to measure that. Now, you're going to take those measurements. They're going to be in, in uh, uh, you know, fractions of an inch or whatnot. And then you're going to convert that to a decimal. Uh, however, any way you do it, you can do it. Uh, and then take one of the uh one of the pier. so this little gray piece it forms a right angle it actually holds these things in place right here it forms the right angle i've already done one you can see uh, off the back here so it forms a right angle uh now in order to make that work uh it's about three quarters of an inch uh a little bit more than three quarters of an inch uh like 11 sixteenths, I think was what it was. So I converted 11 sixteenths to a decimal and then multiplied it by two, which gave me like 1.376 or 375 or something like that. It's hot out today. No lie, it is like 90 degrees and I'm already worn out. The, the morning was spent doing other stuff, which you'll see later. Uh, so you'll take the... Uh, the one point whatever uh, and subtract it from the total length uh, at the top and the bottom and that'll give you the the number to cut uh, now it's going to come out in a decimal uh, there are ways there's websites out there that you can use to convert uh, fractions as in uh, decimals into uh, the closest equivalent uh, tape measurement uh, it came in, so you type in the decimal and it spits out like, you know, the closest to an eighth or a sixteenth of an inch. So, and then you just measure that and you cut it. Now I've had to kind of trim it back a little bit, uh, in order to, uh, make it fit right. So there's going to be a little bit of a give and take. You're not going to be exact. And I'm doing the cutting with a hacksaw, so it's definitely not going to be as accurate as it would be and I'm using a marker to mark it so you know think about uh, what you're losing there in in translation so uh, so I verified that this one also fits uh, the other window because they're exactly the same so I'm going to use this one as the template for the other one which I kind of had to you know measure out in order to make it work so Oh, <coughs> I was using the, uh, uh, I think it was, uh, by, uh, M, M and D or MD, something like that, building products, whatever you can get at, 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 at Lowe's, uh, cause that's where I picked it up, uh, or you can get it at, uh, probably Ace, I think Ace sells M and MD or M and D or whatever it is, so, just wanted to shoot out a quick little video about how to put in window screens so uh or how to make one 
uh, from a kit. So uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe and that like button, uh, Cosmetrics. So have a good one.